and most of us at least once a day. But what you might not have heard about him is as of his election in 2017, he has dropped the Department of the Interior's budget by 12%. Included in the Department of the Interior is the National and State Park Service. With the drop in funds, 90% of all national parks are being forced to raise entrance fees and fire thousands of valuable employees. Less employees means less service for tourists. Tourism has been on the rise exponentially since a few years ago. And with fewer employees and tourism on the rise, it isn't necessarily the best mix for the national parks. It leaves them feeling extremely overwhelmed. National parks are the first place most people go to get A-plus outdoor experience. From hiking to camping to photography, these are the best places to go. Parks also serve as a place to inspire. It's a place to really see the true, unfiltered beauty of nature. And with programs like the Junior Park Rangers, we have the ability to teach future generations about the importance of environmental protection. Parks also provide protection for plants, wildlife, and animals. These are America's most beautiful pieces of land, and they're set aside for us and future generations to be able to use. Are we going to be the generation that lets them go? Are we going to be the ones that sit in silence as they're taken away from us? Because once they're used for the resources, they're gone forever. Scientists also use the land to do important studies on global warming. And it's a great place for them to work because the nature's untouched. They can do it as much as they want to. Parks don't just preserve the environment. They save our history and our culture. Native American land, fishing areas, beaches, historical homes, land with historical significance are all included in the park service. The beach that you go to on the weekend with your friends, the hills you go hiking in next to your house, those are all probably state parks. There's 118 state parks in California alone, and they're all at risk because state parks aren't seen as, in, as valuable as national parks. They get less funding because not as many people go to them. 27 national monuments are being considered for elimination and downsizing across the United States. In Oklahoma, 16 state parks are being proposed proposed for downsizing. And in Alabama, five parks have already been closed. In Wisconsin, the park's budget has dropped 28%. Once we let go of these parks and let the funding drop bit by bit like it is right now, and don't fight the fight that is being fought right now to stop future budget cuts, we lose a piece of our culture, who we are as a country, and who we choose to be.